Okay, um, believers, I'm here once again to talk about awakenings. Okay, um, I mean, I want to raise your alarm, your mind on something. Everything I talk about is in the Bible, like for salvation, to let you know Jesus is real, right? Jesus is real. Currently, I'm in Cote d'Ivoire, like Ivory Coast here. Yeah, um, let let us not go there. I don't waste. I don't want to waste much of your time. Let us talk about the Netflix. The Netflix and Netflix. The, some of you guys say the Netflix are spiritual babies you give birth to when you do the Islam with spiritual. No. Like I told you, the Bible says we are dealing with principalities, powers, and evil, whatever. Right? They are humans like us. They are humans like us. But you can't see it. You only need the discernment of the Lord to know that it is not easy. It's very rare for someone to. It's very rare for someone to just. It's very rare for someone to just um, be wicked, kill someone, another fellow, or hate, have so much rape, hatred for someone without any type of reason. Like some people are not human. Do you understand? Like they are just waiting for you to just um, sin. To just do whatever God says, don't do, um, so that they can use that against you. And if you not pray and you're not hard and you don't believe in Jesus, that's when they can use that against you. Because if you believe in Jesus and you mistakenly sin, God is gonna use this, um, the blood of Jesus to do or to clean up your sins for you. So this is our benefit of us believing in Jesus. So, I said the Nephilim are real; they are demons living around us, giving birth with ignorance. Um children of god who don't know who don't pray and just are attracted by beauty and nice things and they think that's it they don't go by the rules and the things so these are the people who do that these are the people who do that okay um for me i don't i think it's unhuman for someone to just kill without feeling any sympathy like i mean to destroy you know when the bible calls the devil the accuser of man is that you should just not note you should just see people Whenever they are accusing you, you've done this, you've done this, you've rebelled, you've done this, just they are just monitoring you to make sure you do whatever God says don't do so that they can use it against you. So the blood of Jesus is the only protection we have here, okay, right. So I'm here to just um, enlighten you about some of the few things in Genesis. In Genesis, some people say Old Testament, New Testament. I say, uh, if you want to know a whole, um, you want to understand something, you have to read. You don't you just have to read the beginning without knowing the end, or you just don't have to read the end without knowing the beginning. You have to go through everything. Then with the Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, you can understand everything. Okay, so I want to talk to you about Genesis. Okay, somewhere in Genesis where the Bible showed us some of the things we should eat, some of the animals. Some of the meat we should eat, and some of the fishes we should eat, and some of the birds we should, so the birds we should eat, and some of the things we shouldn't eat, and some of the birds, the seeds, the creatures of the seeds we shouldn't eat, and some of the things um, on the land, the animals, the beasts we shouldn't eat. Okay, it is very important, believers. Let me enlighten you that today, for someone a witch or a wizard or a principality or a demon or a nephilim to use that against you. And giving you sicknesses that you don't even know okay you're not supposed to do but because of lack of knowledge my people perish because we refuse to read okay so there are some of the things you're not supposed to eat okay example fish the bible said we shouldn't eat fishes that are, don't have scales like you don't have to peel their scales to do what to before eating so some of us eat catfish some of us eat catfish this catfish there are so many things i'll come back with the verses okay i'll come back with the verses on below below the tap the topic what i'll write you know the bible verses genesis and then you go and read through some of the things you shouldn't eat in the sea the fishes that don't have skills today we can eat octopus we think we are enjoying we can eat so many evil things we can eat fishes without skill catfish and all that example etc i'll give you the bible verse day i'll target on it so that you go and read it yourself and then the birds some of the birds you can look at their claws. It was written in the Bible, but because we don't read, we don't know, okay? Some of their claws are some of the things that we are not supposed to do what? To eat it, okay? And then we just eat any bird, okay? We just eat anything as children of God. You are allowed to do everything, but not everything suits you, okay? Not everything suits you. 
okay yes find your peace in this world find your peace find your work a way to make yourself happy yes but in doing that make sure it aligns with the word of god make sure it aligns with the word of god because the devil is the accuser of man is going to use that against you okay whatever you do against you right so you might have you you might have ate you might, might not know you might have ate fishes that don't have skills so many things the bible told me yes you might have that's why jesus died right to clean all those things today i believe from today you will read the bible and know okay because knowledge is also power a way of power right so um how are you powerful is when you apply the knowledge you've learned you start working with it but some people know some things that they are not applying it okay so let's go and then there some people eat pork like i mean they said that for the beasts of the land they are they shouldn't eat um those animals that have their distinct joined together i don't know they are fit joined together i'll put you the bible first but we eat everything because it's sweet is nice no okay we shouldn't eat animals that cross that cross some people can eat um gecko wall gecko wall geckos and all that they eat this they eat that they eat this they eat that so it's not like that okay so all these things they can use it to ingest sicknesses in spiritually into your world right so we should not blame god uh, we should not blame because of lack of knowledge so when we come back to our senses and then we read the word of god we are filled with the knowledge which is the power of god okay because he said i honor my words above my name meaning what if you take you, you don't say jesus jesus or god god you are no the word what he says if you are operating or manifesting in it is what shows that what you are actually truly a child of god or you're actually operating in power because when you know whatever is in the bible you are actually naturally powerful forget about the that the death of jesus also is um, important but the word of god is more important for you to know god first and then you apply the blood of jesus in the previous things that you do not know about right so what i want to tell you believers today is that um no matter what no matter what no matter what we should learn the things of the world what god has to tell us because that is what is going to show us how to live in this dangerous and deadly world that we are living in we don't know who we are we don't know who is behind us beside us or the, but i believe that he walks be ahead of us by day like a pillar of cloud and by evening like a pillar of what fire so we are protected by the blood of jesus okay so what i want to tell you guys is that um and the birds and the fishes and the what we eat whatever the bible says we should not eat and today we should not eat it and we live 100 years 200 years we live healthy so far as we are not offending god and we are at peace with god okay i love you so much and i'll put the bible the verse there i'll put share 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 for others to also know share for others to also um learn so that uh, i think we are in the last days we need to awaken we need to awaken and we are the end time for we are the end time um 